Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here and in this video what we're going to cover is a lot of the tools that we use in Storyboard Pro to do some very basic drawing and just moving and manipulating stuff. Okay, so what I would recommend is on the left side of your uh, interface, just go through each of these and try to explore and see what happens. Um, if your setup doesn't look like mine, you can always go to the Windows menu go to right right here at the bottom and you're going to restore your default workspace you can also create your own workspaces and kind of change them up and that would be over here um, but at any rate just hit the restore button so then it goes back to the default setting and then we're all set to start okay i want to start with a brush so a brush is just something that you could use to draw and it's really helpful um, you know just make some characters and things like that um, there's also a pencil tool and we'll get into the differences between the pencil and the brush, but they're pretty similar if you're going to do some drawing. Um, yeah, we'll go, again, they have a lot of differences, but we'll kind of figure that out in, in other videos. I don't really use a stamp that much. Um, I definitely use the eraser tool quite a bit. By the way, if you hold down the O letter button on your keyboard, you can increase or decrease the size of any kind of a brush. So I just made the eraser really big. Okay, I'm going to go back to, um, you know, the brush tool and then I'm going to press O and then you can see I've got lots of different size lines with how I go and draw stuff. Okay, give that a shot. Other ways that you can modify the brushes are in the tool properties. You're going to just kind of move things around and you're able to change the size. Okay, so now that I've got all this stuff here, I'm going to go to the selection tool. So it's this black arrow that's right here. You go to that selection tool, select everything and delete it. By the way, here's a nice, here's a different way to select. You can just use the selection tool and drag a line through um, the stuff that you want and then you can just delete it. Okay, um, I don't really use the type tool, but you can, it's pretty much like Photoshop. So give that a shot. Um, you can use a box tool and um, what you can do is you can have the box fill automatically. Um, in your tool properties, you can just kind of scroll down and unclick this button. So if you want, you could do a box that's empty. So you've got a lot of got a lot of choices with how you could do things. Um, so something like this. Another thing that'll happen in the tool properties is if I go and choose a different color and then I select draw behind, then I'll make a box and it will go behind all of the ones um, that I've already drawn ahead of time. Okay, so if I turn this off, then it'll draw in front and it will cover some of these things. All right, paint bucket, that's helpful. Just kind of, it will fill the area. And you can go and select a different color and it will choose a different color. Um, okay, um, these are animation tools, so we'll get to that in a different uh, video. But I think that's pretty much it um, for this video. So again, just to recap, We've got this selection tool right here that lets you drag a box or a circle around stuff to select it and do whatever you want to it. Um, you can drag a line across and then move stuff around um, with the selection tool as well. Uh, you can kind of hover over the corner and it will allow you to rotate. So kind of give that a try. Um, there's your brush tool. And then there's also a pencil tool, which is super helpful. And I guess the, there's the eraser tool as well. And of course, don't forget that hotkey, letter O, lets you increase or decrease the size of the brush. So you're able to go and either get really fine details or you can do really broad strokes. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.